Alpha course has been around for nearly 25 years. It first began at a church in London called Holy Trinity Brompton. Uh, they began in 1991. At that point, there were only four courses running around the UK, and since then it's grown enormously. Now Alpha's run in 169 different countries around the world. 29 million people have done Alpha so far, and it's currently growing in many nations around the world. Alpha works with uh, youth in prisons, at universities and on campuses in colleges. Churches can run it, people can run it in their homes. It also runs in coffee shops and restaurants. In any place where you might see people gathering, Alpha is a great tool to connect with people over the basic ideas of the Christian faith. Alpha, when it began, was used as a discipleship tool, but very quickly uh, the church realized that Alpha was great for evangelism, and that's been its focus. Alpha is a way of helping people that don't know Jesus or don't go to church to explore the basics of the Christian faith in a systematic way over a number of weeks. And recently we've discovered that Alpha fits really well with church planting. If you love Alpha, you'll probably like the idea of church planting. If you love church planting, you will love Alpha as a tool to help you reach people that don't know Jesus and as a great way of mobilizing leaders within your church. So what is Alpha? Alpha is an idea. What if there was an easy way to help anyone explore the great questions of life? Where they could come with their questions, big or small, in a friendly and welcoming group and over a series of weeks, they could unpack those questions, they could answer those questions, and they could hear what other people who are also discovering Jesus think about the same topics. Alpha is also a tool, a very flexible tool. It runs typically over 11 weeks, though it can be done in less than that, or it can be done in more than that. It includes usually a day away or a weekend away, or there are other ways of accommodating that material. Alpha can run any time of the week, People maybe run Alpha in the evenings. It can also be run at the weekends. People have also run Alpha uh, on holidays or other activities like that where it's run day after day. And the components of Alpha are, first of all, a meal. A meal is a great way to bring people together. And that's not new. The ancient Christians and every culture have gathered around a meal table. And at a meal table, everybody's equal. Everybody uh, shares equally in what's happening. Al a meal on Alpha makes the whole experience a relational event. Also, Alpha includes a talk. So each week, there will be a talk on an aspect of Christianity. For example, who is Jesus? Or how and why should I read the Bible? And that presentation might be done by a live speaker, or it might be done through a, a video, and there are various videos that can be used it might include video clips. And then that leads you to a small group discussion, actually the heart of Alpha. And in a small group, typically no more than 12 people, two of whom might be the leader and the helper, 10 of whom might be the guests who are inquiring about Christian faith. The guests get to ask any question that they want about the Christian faith or, or arising from the talk that they heard. And what we find on Alpha is that the small groups, people go on a journey. At the beginning, they might have uh, all sorts of doubts. They may not know what they think. They may need to share what they think in order to process their thinking and their exploration. We find that the guests help each other. The guests listen to one another, and they see the journey that they go on together. Alpha comes with no pressure. We don't want to pressurize anyone at all. We want to create an environment where people can explore faith. We don't want to follow up. We're not going to chase people. If they want to come back the next week, they'll come back because they had a great time. And Alpha comes without charge. The gospel is free, and so churches offer Alpha for free. There may be a, an option to donate money towards the food, but anyone can come on Alpha without having to pay. Why does Alpha help church planters? Well, it does in a number of ways. First of all, it creates time. And typically, church planters are pressured for time. Alpha is a great way just to take something off the shelf that you can use quickly 
and effectively is a way of engaging with people that don't know Jesus in your community. You can do live talks, but you can also use great videos that are prepared that just help you to put on an alpha session in a coffee shop or your home or a building where you're meeting really quickly. Alpha helps people find faith and any church plant is looking to do mission. Alpha can connect the church planter and the church plant team to doing effective mission straight away. And the other great thing Alpha does is Alpha trains leaders. And in fact, we see people sometimes go from being a guest to coming as a helper, then they might be an assistant leader and a leader, and then they might run Alpha, and you've raised up somebody from having no faith to having a leadership ability within the church. And any church planter is gathering a team of people they want to equip them to be effective leaders. So, how do you run Alpha in your church plant? Well, number one, you might just start with Alpha. And I have friends that have just moved to a town where they want to plant a church, and they've run Alpha in their home as a way to get started. You might run Alpha on Sunday, maybe in advance of your Sunday meeting, in the venue where you're going to meet as a way of attracting people in. And then at the end of Alpha, you launch your church. Or you might do a, a big launch, and you launch your church, and in launching your church, you say, well, we're also launching Alpha as well, a great way for you to find out more about the Christian faith, and you launch those things together. Or lastly, you run Alpha in small groups, midweek groups that meet in homes or coffee shops that connect with people who want to explore the Christian faith. 